Buddhist thought consistently rejects the notion of a creator deity. It teaches the concept of gods, heavens and rebirths in its samsara doctrine, but it considers none of these gods as a creator. Buddhism posits that mundane deities such as Mahabrahma are misconstrued to be a creator. Buddhist ontology follows the doctrine of dependent origination, whereby all phenomena arise in dependence on other phenomena, hence no primal unmoved mover could be acknowledged or discerned. Topic early Buddhist texts topic According to Buddhologist Richard Hayes, the early Buddhist Nikaya literature treats the question of the existence of a creator god, primarily from either an epistemological point of view or a moral point of view. In these texts the Buddha is portrayed not as a creator denying atheist who claims to be able to prove such a god's non-existence, but rather his focus is other teachers' claims that their teachings lead to the highest good, citing the Devadaha Sutta Majjima Nikaya 101, Hayes states, while the reader is left to conclude that it is attachment rather than God, actions in past lives, fate, type of birth or efforts in this life that is responsible for our experiences of sorrow, no systematic argument is given in an attempt to disprove the existence of God. Topic In the Titha Sutta AN 3.61, the Buddha while describing the three heretical doctrines, mentions Isarandamanavada doctrine of the divine creation as one of those three. There are Brahmins and contemplatives who hold this teaching, hold this view, whatever a person experiences, pleasant, painful, or neither pleasant nor painful, that is all caused by a supreme being's asara act of creation. Buddha further explains this doctrine and refutes it as a false belief, having approached the Brahmins and contemplatives who hold that, whatever a person experiences, is all caused by asaras supreme being act of creation, I said to them, is it true that you hold that? Whatever a person experiences, is all caused by asaras supreme being act of creation, thus asked by me, they admitted, yes, then I said to them, then, in that case, a person is a killer of living beings because of asaras supreme being act of creation. A person is a thief, unchaste, a liar, a divisive speaker, a harsh speaker, an idle chatterer, greedy, malicious, a holder of wrong views because of asaras supreme being act of creation, when one falls back on creation by a supreme being as being essential, monks, there is no desire, no effort at the thought, this should be done. This shouldn't be done. <laughs> Mahabrahma as a false creator Topic. According to Peter Harvey, Buddhism assumes that the universe has no ultimate beginning to it, and thus sees no need for a creator god. In the early texts of Buddhism, the nearest term to this concept is Great Brahma, Mahabrahma, such as in Diga Nikaya 1.18. However, W. Heil being kind and compassionate, none of the Brahmas are world creators. According to Harvey, a FTER a long period, the three lowest form heavens appear, and a streaming radiance god dies and is reborn there as a great Brahma. Then, other streaming radiance gods die and happen to be reborn, due to their karma, as his ministers and retinue." The retinue erroneously believes Mahabrahma created them. When one of these ministers eventually dies and is reborn as a human, he develops the power to remember his previous life, and consequently teaches that great Brahma is the eternal creator of all beings. <inaudible> medieval philosophers Vasubandhu <inaudible> 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 The 5th century Buddhist philosopher Vasubandhu argued that a creator's singular identity is incompatible with creating the world in his Abhidharmakosha. The Chinese monk Zanzong Florida, c. 602 studied Buddhism in India during the 7th century, staying at Nalanda. There, he studied the Yogacara teachings passed down from Asanga and Vasubandhu and taught to him by the abbot Silabhadra. In his work Cheng Waishi Lun, SKT. Vijnaptamatritasiddhi Sastra, Zanzong refutes a great lord or great Brahma doctrine. According to one doctrine, there is a great, self existent deity whose substance is real and who is all pervading, eternal, and the producer of all phenomena. This doctrine is unreasonable. If something produces something, it is not eternal, the non eternal is not all pervading, and what is not all pervading is not real. If the deity's substance is all-pervading and eternal, it must contain all powers and be able to produce all dharmas everywhere, at all times, and simultaneously. 
if he produces dharma when a desire arises, or according to conditions, this contradicts the doctrine of a single cause. Or else, desires and conditions would arise spontaneously since the cause is eternal. Other doctrines claim that there is a great Brahma, a time, a space, a starting point, a nature, an ether, a self, etc., that is eternal and really exists, is endowed with all powers, and is able to produce all dharmas. We refute all these in the same way we did the concept of the great Lord. Others the 7th century Buddhist scholar Dharmakirti advances a number of arguments against the existence of a creator god in his Pramanavartika, following in the footsteps of Asabandhu. Later Mahayana scholars such as Santaraksita and Kamalasila continued this tradition. The 11th century Buddhist philosopher Ratnakirti at the then university at Vikramashila now Bagalpur, Bihar, criticized the arguments for the existence of God like being called Isvara, that emerged in the Navyanaya sub school of Hinduism, in his refutation of arguments establishing Isvara. Isvara Sadhana Dusana. These arguments are similar to those used by other sub-schools of Hinduism and Jainism that questioned the Navyanaya theory of dualistic creator. See also References Topic Bibliography Topic <inaudible> <inaudible>